Police released new surveillance video of the three men they say pulled up to a banquet hall and started shooting, killing at least two people and leaving more than 20 others injured over the weekend. The acts of a few in our community, and I say a few, does not represent Miami-Dade County at all. I want the nation to know that. Local law enforcement and leaders calling the mass shooting domestic terrorism, vowing to find those responsible. Good afternoon, I'm Francis Wang. Families and friends devastated after this weekend's deadly mass shooting. Police hope brand new surveillance video and a hefty cash award will help them make arrests. CBS 4's Ted Scowen is live outside the Miami-Dade Police Department in Doral with the latest. Ted? Yeah, Francis, police are turning up the heat on these three gunmen who are accused of opening fire into a crowd of people early Sunday morning. And today, we're actually getting our first look at the three actual gunmen as well as the vehicle that they were in. Now, all of this has been very devastating for families who lost loved ones. As a matter of fact, some of that grief unfolding right in front of us. Ruining families, harming mothers who are here today. You all killed my kid. You must burn. The father of one of the people murdered early Sunday morning outside El Mula Banquet Hall crashes a news conference by Miami-Dade police. And that's the pain that you see. That is the pain that affects our community right there, right before you. Police confirm his son was one of the victims who was killed. We're now seeing surveillance video of a white Nissan Pathfinder. We see three men get out heavily armed. Moments later, they get back in and the SUV races away. This is when more than 100 shots were fired. That a white Nissan Pathfinder approached the, the side of the entrance. Three individuals exited that Pathfinder armed and opened fire on the crowd. Several groups that were in the parking lot also armed themselves and open fire towards the initial shooters. In all, 23 people were shot, two dead, three remain in critical condition, three were released, and the rest remain in the hospital. This happened at an album release party for rapper Spitta, also performing with Fopac. Police are now looking at a possible motive. We have intelligence information that this resulted from an ongoing rivalry from two group, different groups. We know that our, our intended target was most likely in front of the establishment when the shooting took place. This is the car. These are the guys police are looking for. So far, they've gotten some tips, but they need many more. I'm very thankful for this community who has been providing information to bring justice to these murderers, these gun violence driven murderers. Now, there is a huge reward in this case. It's up to $130,000. If you have information that can help investigators and they want to hear from you, give Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers a call. That number is 305-471-TIPS. Live in Doral, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News.